channel. So I'm so excited to share with you Glossier's newest launch. This is Lidstar and I have been wanting an eyeshadow from Glossier for the longest time. So I'm so excited to share my thoughts and also as you can see I don't have any eyeshadow on. So I am going to be doing like a mini look on how I use this product. Also share with you my overall thoughts on the product as well as swatches. So there is a lot to cover in this video and I want to make it short and sweet. I also did want to point out that if you are new here I am a Glossier rep. I've been a long time fan of the brand and my reviews are always super super genuine so let's dive right in I already have most of my makeup done I'm just gonna be focusing on the eyes this is such a bad example because I dropped this color I totally effed it up. That sucks that that's like the first impression you guys get of that. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is so beautiful. It reminds me of the little vials, like the blood vials. I don't know. I'm like super into that. I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of try to apply this. This totally sucks. These are cream, very, very long wear eyeshadows. I want to say like a 12 hour wear. I use this in the rain and it literally stayed put the entire time. So what I've been doing is applying it like that and then I just blend it out with my fingers. So that's one way to apply it. It can kind of start getting patchy. So what I have found to be a little more helpful and actually I'll just go ahead and do that just so you see what it looks like. And then when I do the second layer, I will use the brush. But you can see that the first layer, if you just blend out with your finger, it is very like sheer it's a very sheer wash of color and that is what glossier actually calls it as well like a wash so that is the lid star just one coat you guys saw how much i put but look at that you see how it's like patchy so that really only happens with certain colors so i will call those out so herb is definitely one of them that's why i wanted to use this but this is actually one of my favorite shades that's why i'm really bummed that this was the one that got freaking broken and you can like blend it out with your finger but i have just found that it is a bit easier to use your brush. And then like I want it to be a bit more pigmented. Lightly tap it. You can like hold your eye out like this to really get a good blend since it is a cream. You know what I mean? Just putting it close to the lash line and then kind of blending up is what I found works best at least for this color I like to take a brush like this like something very dumb actually these brushes are really nice you guys I got them when I went to Gen Beauty they are from Moda they're pretty inexpensive too I will link some of my favorites from this brand in the description box below so I'm just gonna take that with my bronzer i'm using this one by make these are beautiful as well this one is in the shade marfa i love that they're all inspired by southwest deserts okay so then i'm just gonna buff that and that's gonna also help blend the shadow and then with something a bit more dense i'm gonna take a little bit more of lid star and herb this is just because i want it to be more bold but Sometimes I just wear it like a wash of color like you guys saw the beginning when I just tapped it out. Just kind of like let that dry like this. I found that way it doesn't like crease too badly, you know? At least when it's like wet. But look at how pretty that is, especially with the bronzer. I would say like this shade is kind of the hardest to work with. The other ones, they are not as patchy, I think because this is the darkest one. So you guys know I love to have a little bit of an inner corner pop. So I am using Moon just to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to use Halo Scope by Glossier. This is in Moonstone. This is basically my go-to lid star look when I use Herb in particular. So now that you've seen how it wears, how I use it, I wanted to talk about everything else, right? So the packaging, I feel like Glossier always gets it right. I kind of wish it had more of a brush kind of application. To get a really even nice application, I did have to bring in that brush. I just felt like that was the best one. But I only experienced that with these two colors. The other four are really great just, you know, with the applicator and blending your finger a little bit. You can even build it up with your finger and it's totally fine and they all last all day I've literally worn all of them like I've been really really playing with them all month because I was super excited about this product actually when I was swatching all of these which you will see because I did six in like I don't know 10 15 minutes my eyes were so irritated because I really really had to like go in with my makeup remover to really get it off because it locks onto your lid but obviously I'm gonna assume that you're not gonna be like swatching taking off swatching taking off in like 10 minutes so your eyes will totally be fine like at night when I take it off 
it's really easy and you don't even need a primer you don't need to like do anything to your eyes prior to applying this product so I really love that it eliminates any extra steps and it is for the most part a pretty easy application so let's talk about each shade lightest to darkest so there are six shades total so moon is the sheerest oh my gosh this is just literally a wash of a glow I did use moon in the inner corner but like I said I do like something a bit more bit more beamy so I don't think I'm going to be using this for my inner corner I just wanted to kind of show you if you were into using something a bit more subtle in your inner corner I think this is great it's like a nice little glistening glow or if you want to do like a very no makeup makeup and you still kind of want your eyelids to have like a bit of shine don't expect like a punch of pigment that's not what these are that's not really what Glossier is about, right? Everything is very like no makeup makeup, very like in your skin but better. So that is basically what these are. Next we have Slip. Slip is another one that I don't really love. I feel like these more sheer ones because they are already so, so sheer. It was just like, eh, not really, like I'm not dying over it. It's the softest, palest pink and I feel like it matches my eyelid a little bit too well. That's why it doesn't show up on me. I would honestly go for Moon over Slip, if anything. So we're going from the least favorite to like my most favorite, Cub. It's a beautiful rose gold shade that is perfect for every day. I think it is the least shimmery out of the bunch, but it still has that beautiful metallic reflect. I feel like out of all of the shades, this one has like the best formula as well, if that's possible. I mean, I know they all have like a similar formula, but this one is like the least fussy. You put it on, it shows up, you just blend out with your fingers and it works. I really, really love this shade. Cub is amazing and I think this is the one that has been selling out actually, so definitely get it when they put it back in stock. Now let's move on to Lily. Like I said, Lily does have that like patchy difficulty, but when you find your perfect brush to use with it and just blend it out, it's really, it's such a pretty, unique, cool color. And I don't usually go for like the unicorny iridescentness, but because this one is more on the sheer like subtle side it's actually really really pretty and i think it's a beautiful color for spring and summer it's very on trend this like lilac shade and then fawn is so pretty because again i feel like it's a unique color just like i like herb because it's more of a unique color it just gives like enough pigment with that like little wash that is basically how this one is too but it's more of a purpley gray kind of perfect smoky eye. I, to me, this is like a Mila Kunis eye. I feel like she would totally rock this color. And Beyonce actually wore this to the Grammys, I believe. This is the Beyonce shade. And this one is really easy to apply as well. You don't need to use a brush or anything. Like, I mean, you totally could if you really want to get precise, but I've just slapped it on my eye and just blended out. Love this color as well. And then the last shade is Herb, which you guys saw me use today. I love this shade. Again, I think it's such a unique shade because it's kind of like a khaki green like almost looks goldish. I think this would look killer on like green eyes. I think it'll really make your eyes pop or if you have like really light brown eyes, but I really love how it looks on my eyes even and they're you know dark brown so this shade I would totally recommend like you guys saw the patchiness is definitely there you just have to baby it a little bit on the edges once you hit here but as far as it applying on the lid it goes on very smooth and beautifully definitely worth getting in my book just because it does stay all day it's no fuss it's a unique color has a bit of that shimmer subtle beautifulness that Glossier is known for. So those are the six shades individually. It's really fun to mix them up as well. You can like add one color to the lower lash line, one in the inner corner like I did today. There's just so much you can do and play with these because they are so long wearing. It's like a veil of color on your eyelids and you don't have to be skilled to use this product. That's why I did want to bring up Herb because even though this one is on the patchier side, it's just so worth it and you can definitely make it work. So the Lid Star Duo does retail for $30 so you'll get two for 30 and you save six dollars and like I said I will have my link down below if you haven't ordered with Glossier you can save 20% off and free shipping and I think we covered everything we did the look we talked about the wear time the packaging all the shades all of that fun stuff I really hope this was helpful for you guys if you were looking into buying this product and if you ever have any questions about Glossier I'm like very very familiar with all the products so you can just hit me up on Instagram or anything I'm always answering questions through there or in the comments down below as well let me know what your thoughts are on this product what's your favorite shade I will meet you down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video bye guys I almost forgot you guys, if you made it to the end, congratulations. You can enter to win your very own trio of Lidstar, plus I'm going to include Glossier Phase 2, which is all of the makeup, the boy brow, the stretch concealer, and...
the Generation G. So I'll let you guys choose your own shades and I will be contacting you through email. So all you have to do is subscribe to my mailing list. I will have that linked in the description box below. If you're already subscribed, it's through my blog, pepperpout.com. So if you're already subscribed, you're already entered to win. Thank you so much for subscribing to my mailing list and good luck guys. Bye. Thank you.